Press the button, goes on, releases the button, goes off. One, two, three, four, five, now. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. Today we will be learning how to control an LED with the use of a button. We are going to hook up the LED to pin 13 and make sure it lights up when the button is pressed but by the use of an electrical diagram so there has to be no code written, well almost no code. So the circuit is closed as long as the button is pressed. Uh, breadboard. Through this board we can make electronic circuits without needing a soldering tool. Important to know that all the holes of the red and blue lines are connected with each other. Blue represents negative, red neg uh, represents positive. Each time five holes are connected with each other. An LED is a type of diode that lets lights up when current flows. The anode, the plus sign, has the longer leg, the cutout has the minus sign, it has the short leg. It is important to always place a resistor in series with the, with the LED. If you do not do this, then we will get too much current and the LED will break. So we will put a resistance of 220 ohms in series. Explanation of the LED and button. Now we delete this part. And so what happens is that the LED is always on, but our button is interfering with our circuit. So the LED won't turn on because the circle isn't complete. Okay, task 2. LED and button. Programmable. Now we are going to make two independent circuits. We make a circle with an output of the Arduino and a LED with a resistance. And we make a separate electrical circuit with one push button. A resistance and the entrance of an Arduino. Electrically these circles have nothing to do with each other. Uh, we have to make the link between the LED and the button via the software. Uh, we will therefore have to read the position of the button and thus control the LED. And let's start off with declaring some stuff like the LED like usual. So we're going to use pin 13 again this time. So int LED equals to 13, semicolon. Now we have to declare the button as well, because they aren't in the same circuit anymore. So we write int button equals to 12, semicolon. Now we write char for character button state equals low and a semicolon. Why you might ask? Well don't worry about that yet. It will get clear near the end. Up next is setup. So uh, we write pin mode LED output like before. So again output for the light. And now we have to read the input from the button so we can know when the button has been pressed. So pin mode button input and input press of a button. Alright that's it for the setup now the loop. Now we're going to use this button state. So what we want to happen in the loop is that our code constantly keeps checking the state of our button. So we write button state equals to digital read button. Digital read meaning that it reads the value from a specified digital pin. This is either high or low. So the next thing we want to happen in this infinite loop is that if the button state is, hi is high, so meaning the button is pressed, then the LED has to turn on and otherwise the LED has to be off. So we literally write if 
open bracket, put in state equals equals high, close the bracket. Now we open parenthesis, so first we enter, then open parenthesis, and we press enter again, and we'll automatically add a closed parenthesis. And now we write digital right open uh, open bracket LED high close our bracket and a semicolon. Then the LED turns on. And now we write else enter open parenthesis press enter again, and we write digital right LED low then the LED turns off and normally this should, should work. Let's try and run this. If I press the button, the light goes on, I release the button, light goes off, press the button, goes on, releases the button, it goes off. Very simple. Extra task, LED 5 seconds. Now before we end, I want you guys to make an extra task on top of this one. I want you to at least find the easy way, but this one is less accurate. There's also a difficult way, but that one's a bit tricky, but more accurate. So what has to happen is that if you press the button, make sure that the LED stays on for 5 seconds after we release the button. This means if you hold down the button for 1 second and then release it, it has to stay on for 5 more seconds. If you hold down the button for maybe 10 seconds and then release it, it still has to stay on for 5 more seconds. That's a bit tricky, trust me guys. For the easy one, you should be fine with a simple delay, but like I said, this one is less accurate. But if you want to be more accurate, with a difficult way, you should try with Millis. For those who want to know how I solved the difficult one, or the easy one, you can go to my Patreon page and get the exercise over there. Link will be in the description. There you will find all the code and as well as the schematics from today's video as well, as all the code from all of my other videos, so the link for that is in the description down below. What to do now? Go to Amazon and buy yourself an LED, a button, a resistor, some wires, and waste a lot of more money or buy the original Arduino Uno starter kit, or the cheaper version. Link for that will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This doesn't mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.